I'm Randall Sobey. I'm an Institute of Particle Physics Research Scientist at the University of Victoria, and I'm involved in international collaborations such as the ATLAS experiment, uh, which is studying high-energy proton-proton collisions at the Large Hadron Collider at uh, the CERN Laboratory in Geneva. Um, it's a basic research physics project that's trying to just understand uh, you know, how, what the universe is made of, its constituents, and uh, just what we're made of. Well, these projects, uh, such as ATLAS, record a, a, a lot of data. Um, typically, we have uh, 200 of these proton-proton collisions we record at 2 megabytes each. So we're recording for 40, 400 megabits per second. So this adds up to a very large data sample. So we have uh, computing facilities that are geared to managing this data around the world. We have in the past used uh, grid technologies, but now we're moving to cloud technologies, of which OpenStack is a key element of it. So many of the facilities that we use around the world, I mean, we're, being an international collaboration, each country or, or group of people bring their computing facilities and contribute them. So one of our goals is to utilize these uh, distributed computing cloud facilities uh, in an integrated way so all our users around the world can um, use them for their data analysis, uh, you know, leading to projects like the discovery of the Higgs boson. The cloud technology is still sort of at, at the beginning for us. We're just starting to learn how to use it in our uh, distributed model. Uh, but it looks like it has a lot of potential for simplifying the way we do our computing and maybe making our resources more efficient and uh, more effective uh, uh, for our use. Uh, had any, uh, you know, to say we're sort of at the beginning and uh, we're learning how to use them in our uh, current infrastructure. We're trying to bring in the technologies uh, gradually into our production systems. So we have a combination of uh, research projects uh, with, you know, on the computing end of, uh, with OpenStack uh, clouds, but uh, uh, in some places we're just starting to bring them into the production systems. The grid sort of had a lot of promise, but in the end we started to just write our own things and we got kind of isolated and away from all the development that the commercial world is doing. I think now the cloud, we see that, the, you know, the, the big users are uh, making a lot of developments in technology that is that we can use, and uh, that I think uh, you know, OpenStack is attracting. Uh, you know, we can see today all the, the big companies, and so we're trying to figure out ways in which we can leverage their developments for for our needs. Having users, I think, is always a, a good way to get feedback uh, on the development. I think I think also the developers like it when people use it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to build it and they won't come. <laughs> so no, our, our experience with OpenStack is quite positive.